I want to talk to you about the big scripture picture. Now I'm doing this because I know that for many people, the Bible is just a collection of favorite verses and they always go to the same ones. And to be honest, if you printed all of the verses that they know just together, all it would produce is a little leaflet. And very often they don't know what comes before their favorite verse. They don't know what comes after their favorite verse. They just know that verse. Maybe you graduated beyond that. Maybe you realize that there are chapters <laughs> and you can have favorite chapters and sections. You have favorite stories, things that make sense to you and you just hold it together around that. But you know, there's so much more to it than just thinking of it as little bits and pieces. This is a book that holds together. Now, let me tell you something. When, when we were awaiting the arrival of our first child, um, I'd realized that maybe, you know, the date was a bit uncertain. So what I did was to say, well, we'll wait a week and then I'll take a week off. So once the date had been given by the midwives, I said, okay, fine, I'll add a week and then take the week off. Well, we got to the week that I'd taken off and still no baby. <laughs> and in fact, it was only when I went back to work that our son arrived. But during that week that I'd taken off, we were thinking, what can we do? It was hot. Uh, you know, my wife was right at the last stages of pregnancy. And we, we, we tried you know, short walks, we tried all kinds of things. But one day I said, why don't we just read the book of Hebrews through out loud together? And you know, when we did it, it was amazing. It was the first time that I realized how all the arguments in that letter to the Hebrews fit together. And I don't know why I hadn't thought of it before, because in a sense, you know, if you get a letter from someone, and I know these days we get emails, but just think back to the days when the postman would arrive, you know, a letter would be there, you'd have a physical letter in your hand and you'd start to read it. You wouldn't just read the first sentence and then say, I'll save the rest for tomorrow and put it in the drawer. And then you get it out, read another sentence. You want to get from the top to the bottom because you realize that it's in, in the whole thing that you get the whole picture of the letter. Well, it's a bit like that with the Bible. There was a point in one of the churches that I was leading on one occasion where I said, said to everyone, why don't we all read the same book this week? And then when we come together on Sunday, we can see what we've learned together. And that was amazing. Uh, of course, you know, the week that we did Philemon, it was relatively easy. That's a really short book. And the week that we did Ezekiel, that was challenging. But, you know, whichever book we chose, there was something that we learned from it. And, and reading it, as it were, as a whole, was something that really spoke to us. Now, I know that takes time, and I know that there's a lot of work involved in that. But actually, once you've realized that there is a big picture to Scripture, and you can see the big Scripture picture, well, you're in a much, much better place to understand how every bit fits together. It's like you've got the map, so you know where you are on the journey. Well, let me just encourage you because, you know, the reason why scripture fits together is because it's got one author. Now you might say to me, no, 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 there are lots of authors and there are because the Bible was written over a long period of time by lots of different authors. But actually the author of everything in the Bible is God himself. He was the one who was inspiring and speaking through the people who wrote it. Now, he wasn't using them like dictation machines where he was saying, just take this down word for word. He was actually working with their personalities, their life experiences, uh, and, and using that which was coming out of their hearts, but it was expressing his heart. It's a revelation of the heart of God from start to finish, expressed in all sorts of ways, and yet with an incredible continuity. And what I want is for you to get, to get hold of that full scripture picture so that you can have the benefit of that map, as it were, in your head and in your heart as you're reading, because it makes such a difference. You know, John, when he wrote his gospel, and people love to sort of take a gospel and say, I'm just going to study that. But even when you're reading John's gospel, you realize there are things that John refers to that go back in the Bible. And there are things that John refers to that are lie ahead in the Bible. And that's because John was actually writing his gospel retrospectively. So he could say things like he does in John chapter 7 when he says, this he said of the Holy Spirit who was not yet given because Jesus had not yet ascended. And you know, when you realize that, that takes you on from the book of John into the book of Acts. And you suddenly realize that there's a continuity and you can just see this through the whole of scripture. 
yes, it is arranged a bit like a library. As you see, you get all the history books and then all the, the, the poetic books, the prophetic books, then the gospels and then the epistles and then, and then the book of Revelation. And, and yet, you know, there is a way in which you can see it where it all fits together. And there's a pattern, there's a historical pattern that you can follow through. But there's a spiritual pattern as God increasingly reveals his heart to us in the Bible. So this is, this is what you need to really appreciate. God has given us his word. It's complete. Everything he wants to say is said in this word. He brings it alive in different ways to us today. So it still speaks to us. But this is the complete revelation of God's heart, which he's taken so much trouble to give to us. And I want you to see the big scripture picture.